So Kenny, a narrow defeat to strong opposition, what was your assessment of that one? Yeah, it was a very good workout, we've come in at a very high level our first game and um, get used 23 players today and given them all pretty much equal, two, two young lads, um, Harvey Rue and Alfie Stanley just split a half if you like, but it's still a good taste for them against you know, very good players from the other angle. The main reason though is to, is to get our, you know, our, our top players, our best side, you know, all of our, our, our first 11 if you like, up to speed for, and, and heading towards the Oxford game and where you, you would usually build up. We haven't got that time to be able to do that, so we're coming in at a, you know, a very good level uh, for, for Reading. They've, um, so you had the Spurs game called off yesterday and uh, put their you know their strongest side out all the way through, which we're very thankful for. You know, uh, uh, giving us that game plan on their stadium was a real high quality game to start with, and I'm very pleased with the effort and the application and the response of the players. Yeah, and how important is it during any of these games to make sure it is strong opposition and that you're you're really being tested? You would always try to build up as in a normal pre-season, um, but um, with you know the three weeks to go now, we need to be able to. You know, hit the ground running and really, really test and push ourselves. And, and today was a test. It was a big test, and uh, you know a very good one. Uh, they've been playing now for it's probably their third game in terms of on here. And uh, as I said, you know we responded well, and we have a lot to to work on. But I, you know I feel in in a, in a squad a lot to work with as well. Yeah, and as you mentioned, 23 players played. How important is it for everybody to get game time and everybody get up to the to the right level? Yeah, we need to balance that with. You know, doing you know, making sure that our side settles down over the next fortnight to, to three weeks. We don't risk, you know, we haven't risked Ronan Curtis today, although you know he's very close and he'll be back uh, training this week. You know, so uh, um, uh, Rico Hackett Fairchild has, has had a good spell in the last two weeks as well, and you know he wasn't around, so we haven't risked anybody. But everybody else has been able to play, sprinkling of young players, which is which is good for tomorrow. But our main focus really is obviously Oxford getting ready and balancing off, yeah, uh, uh, making sure that um, all, all, all players are fit, but that we work at a shape and a consistency and uh, a quality about what we're doing and, and, and marrying our best side together. Yeah, and just finally, it is a 3-1 defeat, but as we said, it's a, a strong side. How much encouragement can you take from what you saw today? Yeah, there's there's a lot, and we had some, some big chances today and couldn't quite finish them in both halves. And, and, and obviously then, you know, when they got those, they were... They, they, they were clinical, but um, as I said, you know, we've come in at a very good level and a very high level. We need it though because, you know, it's not a, a season you could build into. It's, it's a mini competition. It's a cup competition, and we want to hit the ground running. And we, we've got to be, you know, we've got to be at full speed from the, the, you know, the very first minute of the game.